Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bruce, and in this one I'm going to show you how I made this really cool towel rack. This is a little bit of a different concept where it extends down further than most others that I've seen. And with this old barn wood, I just think it's a nice accent. It turns into more like a, a wall covering almost, rather than just a towel rack. So let me show you how I made it. So here's the general idea. Uh, these are still too wide, but I'm going to have a series of planks stacked like this, uh, if this is the wall, and this is gonna run kinda up the wall, and then there's gonna be a shelf come out this way. So I've gotta get these cut down to rough size, and then we can go about dimensioning them. Got all our pieces cut to uh, rough length, and now we've got a little bit more milling to do before these are ready. But I do have to spend a little bit of time and find the top face that I want for each board because we can't really do any milling on the top side. It will get rid of these marks, and these marks are what I'm trying to keep. So I'm gonna do that now. I am going to be joining these edges just so that they can line up. So to make sure I don't joint the bottom one, I wanna leave that patina. And this is my top piece. I don't wanna joint this edge. I'm just quickly marking the ones that I need to do. And I actually got these Trusted Crayon markers. They're for marking all kinds of surfaces, but they have been working really well. This company sent this to me, so I'll link to these below. All right, now I've got all the pieces where we are ready for joinery. There's a couple different ways you could do this. You could obviously just pocket hole the back side because it'll never be seen. Um, you could use some dowels, that would be easy. I don't have a dowel jig. I do have a domino, so I'm just gonna be doing loose tenons and it'll be quick and that way we can get these things glued up. of these that's actually what I'm going to use this fence on the back side I just need to make sure to reference the top piece off of the back side so that my reference face is all coming from the same spot
right, I've got a little surprise. I just plunged the domino in for the top piece and hey oh went right through the top. I forgot to check the depth of this plunge on this piece and I should have probably cheated it deeper on the other's piece because it has plenty to go in there so that the domino would still fit in there. But apparently this, it didn't punch through here, but it's really thin, you can hear it. And apparently this one was just slightly thinner because it went all the way through. At this point, I have glued it all up. I actually lost the footage of that. Oh well. Uh, I used dominoes, as you saw, I was cutting those and glued this up. And then to give it a little bit of this patina, I have used spray paint and uh, then just sanded it back to where I still have most of the lines from the old barn wood. But um, I think it's gonna give it a neat look. When I put the polyurethane on it, it's gonna darken the wood a little bit and the white is gonna be less noticeable. So up next is cutting the French cleat so that I can mount it on the back and that's how it's gonna to mount to the wall. One piece of this goes on the back of our workpiece, and the other piece goes in this orientation against the wall. So let me demonstrate. This piece will be the one that goes against the wall like this. And then the other piece that is on the backer will just come and slot in here and grab so very securely and it's very easy to get it level then because you can level this on the wall that kind of thing so all i have to do is attach this to my workpiece and this to my wall and we'll be ready to go if you want to click right here i'll have a link to another video where i did where um, it's a similar method like this but that you can use to hang really heavy objects i actually hung a big airplane propeller in my sister's house um, and this is the method I use to do that. So go check that video out. Here's a quick tip when you're finishing. Take your chip brush or whatever you're gonna use. I use these chip brushes because they're cheap, but I'm gonna end up applying three coats or so of this and I didn't wanna use a brush for each one of the coats. So just take it over to the bandsaw chop off the handle where it will fit down inside the can and when you're done with that coat seal up the can with the brush in it the next time you need to make a coat grab a glove to fish that thing out of there and put on the next coat and just repeat until you're done with the project
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming along for this. This thing turned out really cool. Uh, I made it for my mom, it's in her house and it has the potential to hold three towels total. I'd love to know if you would have done anything different or if there's a feature on this that you like best, leave me a comment below. Also below in the description, I'll have links to everything that I used, all the tools and materials. Using those links supports me. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.